Okay, this is definitely going to our camp. All right, Echo fucking jumps in it. <laughs> he knows how this works now. Uh, casting greater invisibility on myself and going in. Okay, greater invisibility. Um, uh, Echo, do you have a precast before you go? Nope. Excellent. So. I mean. You appear inside yeah. a pavilion. It's like a 10 by 10 foot tent with a That's hastily me. scrawled uh, teleportation circle on the bottom. You smell this, like immediately you smell burning and blood the moment you 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 appear. And Sven is standing in the tent with you, uh, channeling. And his face is bloodied. He has he has wounds and slashes in his clothing. Uh, I'm sharing the map right now. Excellent. You are currently inside a a ten by ten uh, tent, and you hear the sounds of combat happening right outside. Um, roll me some initiative, uh, please. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, who wants to take the plus two? <laughs> I'll take it. Right. I... <laughs> Very oh, nice. You did run through the circle first. It does make I sense that you ran through the circle first. first, yeah. I should have also had advantage, but like, I feel like it doesn't matter. It doesn't right? matter at this right? point. Can't do better than a 20. Can't. Um, try. So, as, as you open the flap, you are in the middle of a pitched battle. Like, you are in the middle of a skirmish, and there are already bodies on the floor. I was not able to... Um, put a whole bunch of pogs on there because we saw what happens when I put too many things on the map. But suffice to say, this is a place where battle has been happening on and off for a while, and there are definitely both dwarven and orcish bodies sort of littering the ground. And the first thing you notice is that the dwarves have made roughly a semicircle um, with werewolves on, or with werewolves on the other side of it. Um, you should be able to see the whole map now. Everyone yeah. has visibility. You can see that there are, what, eight werewolves in your immediate vicinity, as well yeah. as a number of dwarves trying to guard Barnabas. Um, it looks to me like because she or because they went through the teleportation circle first, uh, Ghost is able to jump out and take the very first action. Um, what do they do? Um, I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, rush, uh, rush in, I'm gonna rush in. <laughs> um, I don't see like little squares, so I'm not sure how to count, or is movement on? Uh, let me go ahead and disable movement. Uh, it's okay. unlocked now, so you should be able to just make the arrow. Okay, we're gonna go. But if you, here. if you need me to, I can turn on the squares. They're just kind of ugly. Right. Um, as soon as, like, you know, as soon as Nalmani, like, exits the tent, um, uh, they, they let out not a howl, per se, but a roar that um, probably is getting gonna get, like, the people in the tent a little here as they're coming through. Um, but it sounds uh, momentarily like another wild animal has entered the game or entered the fray. Uh, those of you who could see it when it happens, a uh, a spectral like bear, uh, ex like expands from from their body uh, as part of the the the, the roar as they um as they they like pull out their shield and spin their hammer, um, which seems to leave like the slightest of stuttering effects as they have just just teleported so they are slightly wiggly about it um i'm gonna add my fucking rage to the picture i'm a little bit annoyed because all of the people out there were wounded and apparently fantasy grounds decided to forget all of those wounds which makes me sad but here we oh, are yeah. 
foe and enemy, they were all, it, it, it all sort of balances out because both enemies and allies were wounded. So it all sort of works out. I was just trying to not get us too slogging down into combat, but we'll see. Um, that, so you are, you are going into a rage then. I'm going to go into a rage and I'm going to run at the nearest one that I saw when I like Thanks. came around the corner. Um, and, and the, I'm going to run and jump and come down um with my uh with my hammer to land to land and hit at the same time hopefully make that hopefully. attack fingers crossed yeah that definitely hits Woo. boom minimal uh, damage <laughs> did minimal damage yeah <laughs> You're still a little um, wiggly. <laughs> and and yeah, as I as I come down, I guess my, my hammer does it like kind of like flickers through them and then I'm gonna come back up with it um right through their body again. Second attack. Also hits. That is a much more respectable amount of damage. It was not <laughs> expecting you to explode out of that tent and come and slash the ever loving shit out of it. Um, uh, hammer it and then slash it with the other side of the hammer, yeah. right? Yeah. What 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 this guy unfortunately sees is the fact that like the um like the the bear totem is no longer like above me, but like there is an effect of like every like because I hit it like it, its blood is starting to hit on uh come on to me because my um. My hammer is both bludgeoning and piercing, depending on the direction I hit them in. So yeah. I got a bludgeony one and then a piercy one. So <laughs> I get some nice blood splatter. It's beautiful. Is that I'm going to change my dice. Is that it for Nomani's turn? <laughs> that is Nomani's turn. I'm going to change my dice so they're like slightly blood splattered. So the second thing, and I have to to do some wounds here. Sorry, it's, it's annoying. Um, mm -hmm. And then... Ivan is also hurt. God, I'm so annoyed. Um, so you notice off to your left. There we go. Um, Pykel, the, the, the dwarven druid that you met before, is waving around a, 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 an absurdly large, like, like tree trunk, essentially, um, in one arm, strangely enough, and has a, like a cook pot over his head as a helmet, and he's standing over the unconscious body of Ivan, who is who is laying on the ground. And he turns around and sees Ghost barrel out of the tent and and start taking down this this orc. And he turns back to the two uh, werewolves that are in front of him, and he transforms, becoming larger and larger and larger. <laughs> Until instead of a fairly diminutive green bearded dwarf, you now have a huge sized polar bear standing <laughs> over Ivan and protecting him from the two werewolves in front of Pykel. Is, is, the, is the white fur tinged a little with green? <laughs> uh, yes, and I imagine it's about to be tinged with uh, red as well. It's so Christmas colors. We'll put that at 22. Just hear those sleigh bells. <laughs> and we'll make that, there we go. That unfortunately does take his action. So he will go ahead and transform. Let me go ahead and put the icon on the table. There it is. There. <laughs> now, <laughs> yes. So standing directly behind Barnabas is a dwarven cleric who already has a, a spiritual warhammer that is sort of hovering around him. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start by taking a bonus action to move that warhammer down here and take an attack on Orc 3. So we're really jumping in in Meteor Ray, all right. Oh yeah. What's the point if you don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> So he will Ooh, absolutely yeah, hit with it to deal maximum Fuck force him. damage. Not bad. Fuck him up. <laughs> and um, so that the priest kind of looks over at Ivan, who is on the ground with blood all over his face, looks over at Barnabas, who is also extraordinarily wounded, 
and will walk up behind the king and will cast Cure Wounds and, and heal the king, apparently up to full because Fantasy Grounds being a dick. So, he will walk up, he will cure Barnabas' wounds. That's better than I, what I was going to do. <laughs> and What's the, the werewolves will charge. So we're going to start... Where is number two? With a miss. Oh, there it is. And another miss. miss. Well, all right, all right. They heard that bear growl and then saw another giant bear, and they're like, what the that, was, that was hilarious. It was sort of hovered teetering at the point. <laughs> Rough. Okay. And... Oh. So, so the two claws. The dwarf is able to like bring his 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 hammer up to block one of the claws and his shield up to to block the other. But that kind of leaves both of his arms out, and the the werewolf's like mouth just closes over his throat and snaps it. And uh, dwarf shield guard or uh, shield dwarf guard seven is down. Uh. Second orc. Seven. <laughs> We'll hit. Come on, guys, you're called shield dwarves. Use your shields. <laughs> oh wait, not not spear, claws. Claws. And bite. Okay, so again, okay. these two these shield. these two werewolves crash into the line of shield dwarves that are, are there to, to hold them back, takes one of them down, takes a healthy like chunk out of the other with the claws, but the dwarves manage to stand fast. Um Nal or Namalni, you are backed up That's by fun. a couple of shield dwarves that come forward, one of which manages to hit. Come on, motherfucker, hit him. Doesn't do a ton of damage, and I said this was supposed to be magical damage. Why did it all reset? Everything reset. Okay, so when we come back from our break, I will have this all reset the way it's supposed to be. But for now, um, let's go ahead and move on. I'm irritated with Fantasy Grounds right now. Okay, okay. Bye. Claw, oh. one claw hits, one claw misses. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll all the attacks very quickly to get through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why they do the average damage, my dude. Also true. Um, so. Sven. Sven, yes. <laughs> How you doing, bud? He's gonna go ahead and come out and he is moving far more quickly than you would expect. Almost as if perhaps a certain, um, expeditious retreat has been has been applied <laughs> uh, applied to him and he zooms right up next to his king um or i suppose slightly behind his king points his hand in between um barnabas and the shield dwarf that are standing there and is going to unleash a cone of cold all right yeah, all right Uh, the first nice. one absolutely fails its save. Come on. The second one absolutely fails its save. Okay, cool. What's ah. the what's the phrase? What's sexier than wizards? Nothing. <laughs> and what's both, sexier than wizards? More powerful wizards. <laughs> both of both of the werewolves that have been sort of bearing down on Barnabas get physically blasted back and their fur becomes like a sheet of frost um, as this cone of cold kind of kind of shoves them back into the tent directly behind them and, and staggers them both. Um, that dwarf is just going to maintain position. Calder, it's your turn. Uh, Calder will... Uh, ha we've established Cal they're on their uh, the brooms, right? Uh, Calder, Calder does, was on his broom. Calder, you did specifically say that you were on your broom, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, also in greater invisibility. Yes, also true. Uh, I'm going to g head to about there and then take uh, 30 feet of elevation. Yeah. Uh, and from my, in and then my invisible ass is going to uh, designate the uh, the werewolves closest to the king. 
Uh, sure, I'll spend the spell. Po I'm not going to have to spell this one, so this won't port forward anymore. <laughs> Acid ball. <laughs> awesome. An entrance. Uh, it also, and you know, critically, doesn't break my spell. Uh, doesn't break my invisibility. Right, because greater invisibility is amazing. So they totally do not see this this little ball of acid falling out of the sky and exploding, taking one of them down at least, and the almost the other. Yeah. Okay. So one of them drops under the under the the, the, the explosion of acid that happens from behind them. Um, basically <laughs> all of these tents just like vanish. So I'm just going to go ahead and designate a quick, uh, it's 30 feet, right? Uh, yeah, it's a 30, it's like that entire area. I would have localized it in such a way that the, it's a that, 20 foot circle it's, it's for 20 fireball, feet. right? Yeah. 20 foot circle. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and say, cause I, I assume that you localized it so that they were just on the edge, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that circle there, which is the circle of acid damage from that acid ball. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and one of them drops. 20 foot radius sphere, yeah. Uh, anything else, Calder? Um, that's it for now. Uh, M, what were you I'm, saying? I'm, I'm, going to, I am, I am going to continue to hover from invisibility. And in fact, from 30 feet up, you can tell that this attack is not super duper widespread around the camp. Um, this seems to be a localized event, although from where you are, from 30 feet up, you are able to see off in the distance, kind of on the horizon, the battle raging between the two, uh, the two right. armies proper. Cool. This isn't a, this isn't a grand, uh, a, a grand, uh, like a military stratagem. This was a hit. This was a, yeah. a bomb. Yeah. yeah, this this was an assassination attempt. <laughs> uh, another shield dwarf will rush forward, and I'm just going to roll it because I know it's going to say that it's... Uh, all of these guards have silvered weapons, and I had applied that uh, before, but here we are. So that was eight points of damage to or orc number seven. And now we have a pair of orcs, uh, orc werewolves, that are suddenly um, in front of a very large and very angry polar bear. And in fact, now that you're looking at it, this polar bear doesn't seem to have like white fur where it should be. When you look at it out of the corner of your eye, it looks like fur, but it's not. Um, and in fact, Calder, without even having to make an arcana check, you know someone under the effect of stone skin when you see one. Oh. <laughs> so what we're looking at is a huge polar bear made of rock, yes. Those wolves are those werewolves are about to have a very bad day. So it manages to hit all three times. I'm just gonna do any curse um rolls at the very end just to make things a little bit easier. Excellent. At least that stayed around. So the stone skin stuck around. That's good. So it it it, it sort of chips at its claws and its teeth. Um, fighting at this this massive polar bear. Um, Echo, it's your turn. Okay. Um, okay. How far? Dude's under the polar bear. Um, yes. The unconscious guy. His token is under the polar bear token. Okay. Yes, it is. Uh, this isn't my movement. I'm measuring distance. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, Echo's going to. see 45 yeah right up next to barnabas and as he's running bonus action healing word to ivar in in dwarven get up <laughs> go ahead and roll that yep do, 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 do. why aren't you in the right display there we go where is he on the combat tracker <laughs> uh he's at initiative two he's almost at the bottom okay uh, do, 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 do. You know, it's 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 enough to bring him back to consciousness, which is what's important. So you throw a healing word, tell him a healing to get word, up. and then as I'm there next to Barnabas, I am going to hold out that new holy symbol, uh, put it forward, and say, "We're here to help," 
and he will invoke duplicity. And duplicity. A, another echo will appear on the other side of Barnabas. <laughs> Multiform. <laughs> yep. Do you want a second pog or do you care? Uh, it might matter where he is because I can do spells through him. <laughs> can I do two? I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay. So I'm just going to put a... I'm going to go into assets. Something. I'm going to go goblin. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a goblin token right there. Yep. Excellent. It's it's not Echo. It's not Echo. <laughs> but it sure looks like Echo. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's my turn. Nice. Okay. The guard will move ahead and take its action against the werewolf. Absolutely will hit. Come on, fuck him up. Okay. Not bad, not bad for seven points of damage. That's orc one, so we'll go ahead and apply that. He's still up. And then guard eight is holding position. So we have an orc attempting to take down a shield werewolf, or a shield, uh, a shield, uh, a shield werewolf. not a shield werewolf, <laughs> uh, a, a shield dwarf, yes. We'll miss hey. the first time. We'll hit the second time. We'll hit the third time. Ooh. And yeah, we'll we'll sort of pounce on the dwarf, get him on the ground, and and start like biting and tearing at him until he stops moving. Okay. Up next. Shield Dwarves holding the line, unfortunately not able to connect. Rough. Um, that's not supposed to happen, or the spear wasn't supposed to happen. I'm doing a bite. So it seems like these dwarves aren't having a difficult time hitting Pykel. They're just having a difficult time making him notice the attacks. I like how Ivar came to looking up at the underside of a stone polar bear. Ivan, yes, Ivan is able to, to come to. He stands up and he actually uses, is it Indomitable? No, it's Survivor. And he will actually heal 10. Fuck yeah, come on, man. He will stand up from prone, take a look around, move around so that he's on the other side of this uh, this this werewolf. And is going to go ahead and take a multi attack. Hit. Fuck him up. Oh, he shouldn't be prone anymore. And he shouldn't be incapacitated anymore. Why did it save some things but not others? Very weird. Either way, it hit. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some math really quick. <gasps> No. How dare. 12 and 12 and 15, he drops it. He stands up. Fuck yeah, He Ivan. sees what's going Ivan. on. He looks up at his Ivan. brother. Right underneath, by the way, right underneath uh, a certain orifice, gets out of the way <laughs> and takes a very rapid three attacks with his greatsword and takes down this uh, orc eight. Fuck yeah, fuck it up. Um, hey, that one's still alive for the moment. <laughs> That's not what I meant. He bite his own tongue. <laughs> uh, did he get a one? He did. <laughs> he bite his own tongue. So yeah, we will say, I mean, for the sake of, of argument that he bites his own tongue, but he does manage to hit once for a little bit of damage. And we get to Barnabas himself, who is suddenly surrounded by allies. And he so gets many goblins. He gets this look of first off, I got an echo on either side of me. <laughs> and he gets a bit of a look on his face for a moment, but then he steps forward. <laughs> a horny dwarf. <laughs> and he's gonna go ahead and attack orc number one. Okay, and you said the priest healed him up to full, so he doesn't look very hurt. At, I mean, he's covered in blood, but at this point, it's all, like, dried blood. 
Come on, fuck him up. Attack yeah. two. Come on, fuck him up. And attack three. So again, in three very quick attacks, he is able to to take the other uh, werewolf that is directly in front of him down. Uh, Ghost, okay, it's so, your turn. So go oh, actually, one. let's go ahead and take stock really quick because an entire round just happened. Um, and we do have eyes in the sky at this point. Mm -hmm. So yes, Calder sees that this seems to be a, a localized event currently there aren't other other like forces immediately coming in that you can see however uh, at the beginning of every one of your turns i'm going to ask you to make a perception check i will probably forget so try to remember at the beginning of your turn please make a perception check for me for now namani the go or uh, uh namani the ghost it is your turn only we are gonna let's Hurt them? Hurt them. I like it. Um, I'm going to, uh, Nomani is going to uh, swing in a diagonal down on on the same orc that they've been going after. Mm -hmm. um, got bloody dice now. Oh, I miss. And no, you did not oh, miss. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, no. They're puny. <laughs> yeah, it turns out they're not like wearing a whole lot of armor. Well, that's their problem. They also probably thought that they would not be able to Immune. resist this shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hit him again, I guess. Do it. Do it. Oh, so close. Yeah, but so you still hit. that 20. And it doesn't matter anyway yeah. because you drop it. Yeah. Okay, I am going to action search. Nice. Okay. Yes. Very nice. I'm going to action search, and I am going to move up to this next one and i'm going to uh uh shield bash which i don't remember the role on that one it's a strength and i want I'm, I'm trying to shove him the five feet yeah it's i believe uh, a shove is a type of grapple you make an opposed athletics check there's a specific shield one that you can just punch them with the shields they fall over yeah that's the shield bash thing Shield bash. It's a fighter thing, but I don't know if it's a fighter thing you took. I know you were thinking about it. Uh, because your your shield has a property specifically that you can use, yeah. right? So let's default to that. So creatures that are... That's a variant rule. Come on now. Let's do some quick checks. So I'm looking at the battering shield. Yes. Fighter. When you push it's, a creature... When I push. Oh, got it, got mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. so you just make a normal shove and then if it happens if you succeed then you get to do your yeah. special thing yeah so it is so, yeah. it is a an opposed athletics although the okay. person it's being performed on could also do acrobatics yes oof they got a 20 so you you push forward and it's able to kind of absorb the impact without being forced back what else you got um, I'm gonna hit him then. I'm just knock him in the face with a hammer because that I can do. Bang bang! Namani's uh, silver hammer misses. Oh. Rude! It said thirteen on my. Very rude. It, yeah. I saw the thirteen as well, but it did end up landing on the one, unfortunately. Gross. Anything else? Okay. Um. No, we're good here. We're good here. Heikel is going to, now that um, Ivan is up and moving, is going to, instead of splitting his attention between guarding his brother on the ground and fighting the orcs, he is going to go ahead and put his entire bulk, his entire attention, his entire focus on um, orc uh, five here. So let's do that. Amu, amu, amu. Um, wait, this is the bear pikel. There we go. Bite. Hit. I mean, yeah. Claws. Maybe. 
and claws. Hit. Uh, two of the three managed to hit. I'm gonna go ahead and do them in chat because again, I need to, to change some things. Boom and boom. So for 20 points of damage on Orc 5. Um, you don't really know, unless you're a druid or like an elf, what um, animal facial expressions look like, but it's easy for anyone to see that this bear is enjoying himself. Um, the priest sees that things are doing pretty well over here. 5, 10, 15 can just barely get his um, his spiritual weapon over to attack Orc 2, so let's do that. I mean, like, it flies, so it's just a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, this Absolutely priest is... Absolutely. <laughs> Get it up. It. And he is going to dash all the way over to here next to Ivan and sort of begin, he's like he's like yelling the, the incantation of a spell as he's running, but of course he has to take his action to dash so he's not able to complete it, but he gets up next to Ivan and his hand sort of starts begin glowing with healing energy. Okay, doing some attacks. Okay. So the, the, the um, werewolf here on the south manages to almost break through the line and is going to step forward and attack um, Shield Dwarf 5 with his bite and his other claw. Hit and hit. So with a savage rush forward, um, one of these werewolves is able to sort of push into the line and take two of the guard dwarfs out on his way. One with a slash across the throat and the other with a bite down on the clavicle that has him reeling and falling to the ground. Um, the second one... I keep doing that. Hello. Hello. I said, oh no. Step, or so again takes out one of the ones on the front and steps forward to bite dwarf guard eight. So the two werewolves coming up, they again, they sort of gather themselves back. They launch themselves forward. They're able to take out a few of the dwarves as they go. They are crashing into the line and about to break through. Um, that guard's dead. Or is he just sleeping? <laughs> or is he just sleeping? No, he's definitely dead. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and attack uh, Ghost. So please stop trying to move. Sorry. I was trying to do a, a number thing. But unfortunately in Ghost, this werewolf finds a bit more challenge than he was expecting. You know... And is Ooh. unable to connect. Ooh. That was, yeah, that was skittering on a 20 for a while. <laughs> um, Sven is Sven, my man. going to take a few steps back. He's going to look up at where Calder isn't. Uh, still, still invisible, yep. <laughs> and is going to go ahead and cast uh, improved invisibility upon himself. Take, taking good advice from a good source, I think. So he steps back. Now that everything has sort of settled down, he will protect himself with improved invisibility. Oh. Greater. Or greater invisibility, yes. Oh, wait. That's, that one's dead. Ha ha ha. It's Calder's turn. You are invisible. You are on a, on a flying broomstick. You are 30 feet above the fray. What do you do? Uh, perception check. I'll, well, first my perception check. That's the first thing. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> so far as you can tell, nothing major has changed on the battlefield other than those falling. Okay, cool. Uh, pointing at the uh, at uh, 
the or the whirls that are about to break the line. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to uh, twin a uh, a uh, Tasha's mind whip at them. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So twin sort of tendrils of shadowy energy come and hit them in the eyes, uh-huh. right? The first one uh-huh. succeeds. Mm. The second one does not. Okay, cool. Well, so the first one takes half damage, and the second one gets all the effects. Yep. And full damage. Nice, Ooh, not yeah. bad. And then it gets I... disadvantage, I believe, and it can only take oh. one action, right? Oh no, it loses its reaction, and on its next initiative, can it only take a bonus action, a normal action, or a movement action. That's actually that's perfect because only... it is half a step away from that shield guard, so it won't be able to do both. That is excellent. Uh, you got anything else? Uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to convert some spell points into a spell slot. Sounds good. I'm just pulling out okay. people who so are it was, dead. It was it was Werewolf Orc 2 that failed, right? Correct. Werewolf Orc 2 is currently stuck in Mind Whip land. And yeah. well, Werewolf Orc 4 succeeded. Okay. Okay. Um, Namalni's sort of uh, fighting partner here manages to hit for three points yeah, of damage. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up, man. You and got again, this. They're, they're using sort of hastily silvered hammers. So this is these are not magical weapons they're using, but they are like able to deal damage because, because silver has been applied to their weapons. Uh, it is Echo's turn. Okay, so the, the, the werewolf orc one and three, like in front of Barnabas, both of those are down, right? Yes. In fact, okay. I'll go ahead and pull them out. Cool. Echo's gonna jauntily step over here, <laughs> crack his knuckles, and then do a cartwheel and hit this dude with his feet. Uh, so let's go in for some attacks. Capoeira action, baby. Uh, one. Easy nice. easy, no problem. Not a whole lot of damage. Uh and then the second attack also on that guy. Yeah. Some more stuff. How's how's he looking? Uh, still pretty okay. Four? Cool. Your your um, your blows are definitely landing and they're definitely impacting. Um, but uh, he looks like he yeah. could take a few more. Echo will then spend a key point and do flurry of blows. Um. So the first attack was a cartwheel like kick to the face, I imagine. Yeah, cartwheel kick with both one foot after the other. Oh, nice. Okay, and then as he gets up, the flurry he of lands blows. In, yeah, he lands in front of him, kind of centers his key, and then does a backflip to hit him with both the feet again. <laughs> nice. Okay, since that hit on a flurry of blows, I have open palm monk shit to do. I haven't used in a while. I uh, believe you do the damage first, and then there's like a, a stunning uh, strike, yes. maybe? Um, I could do that, or um, it can't take reactions until the end of my next turn. That's Whoa. because I hit with the flurry of blows, I'm putting that on him. No reaction, got it. Yep. Deal that damage. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. And then the second little bit of damage. Strike. Hell yeah. But like overall, you are pummeling this guy, even though you're kind yeah. of dealing and then small amounts of damage here and him, there. Let's have him make a dexterity uh, saving throw for me, please. Can you uh, force it or should I do it? No, you got it. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right. He got an eight. Uh, he is knocked prone, so I hit him under the chin, and then the second foot just, like, square in his chest, and he's back on his ass. And down he goes. Neener, neener, neener. No and problem. And just lands, lands there, cracks his neck a bit, and pulls his fists in front. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is, uh, now, is your is your double staying put, or does your double follow what you do? Um, I have to spend a bonus action to move it. Okay, so it's, staying put. So it's still just staying put. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, shield uh, Dwarf Guard 6 will move forward, get into a position where he is in between Barnabas and any further threats, set his shield. Um, guard 8 is still alive, yeah? Yeah, okay, very good. Let's take yeah. some attacks. 
And because the werewolf is prone, it's much easier to hit. So he's mm -hmm. able to deal a good solid seven points of damage to orc number four. Fuck him the fuck up, guys. Come on. Work is life. And the other one will step forward and do the same again with advantage. Oh. Um. Oh, very nice, because one of those was a yeah. one. Nice. For another three points of damage. Can we say that these two shield guards are intelligent enough to realize both of these werewolves don't have reactions and they could retreat a little bit? Um, intelligent or intelligent enough? Yes, but their job is to hold the line. They're going to hold the line. Yeah, or or Which swing to the side so that they're between them and the king. <laughs> I don't know. You're there. <laughs> All right, that's fair. I am. <laughs> you've 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 managed to come in and reinforce them. I think they're okay. All right. There's a big ass polar bear there. So there's a really big ass polar there bear there. Oh, I just got crit. <laughs> so we'll start with that. Is it body body body? Body? You don't get crit. Can you infect a shapeshift? Oh, I guess it's the same body. Yeah. We will we will deal with curses at the end of this, I think. And it looks like one of the claws managed to hit. But again, like all of these attacks are hitting. And the polar bear is just shrugging them off like they're nothing. It was just the, the crit was a bite, which made me think of the, the curse save. Uh, Ivan is <laughs> going to shout out in rage that someone would dare strike his brother. Step over the campfire here, and it's going to go ahead and take three attacks. <laughs> The dwarf is the, the world is stuck between a dwarf and a hard place. Exactly. For <laughs> it looks like thirty-four points of damage, which is enough to take Orc Five down. Uh, Barnabas is currently not in the middle of any enemies. Um, Isn't he lucky? <laughs> he is going to take a moment and consider joining Echo, like, on the front front line, and then he will make a very difficult decision to sort of back off and preserve himself. Yeah, Little Illusion Echo is, like, telling, is, like, gesturing him to back. To so back he's, up. yeah, he's gonna <laughs> step back into the center of the clearing that his guards are making for him, and he's just gonna kind of look around and, and be ready for the next attack. Um, Ghost, it's your turn. The Ghost. So it best redeem advantage. an advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's lots of toss of coins, so hit this motherfucker like a pinata and make it rain. It's gonna be a pinata. <laughs> He's going to be hit. It'll be fine. I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, side note. Um, second throat called me out. I don't have the uh shield shield master feet. So I'm I'm fine to just lose that attack. Sure, no worries. That's a fucking Ooh, crit. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. That's oh, you a fucking have a crit. You have a reduced range. <laughs> I have. Range? I am a champion fighter as well. <laughs> Fuck yeah, fuck it up. Fuck so it that was up. our very first <laughs> crit on a 19 for this entire campaign, I believe. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kestro. <laughs> and then I am going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some. No, no, no. You're fine. I'm so glad somebody. I couldn't find the normal thing. It's it's in that seat. Um, I'm going to to um swing around, kind of like very much in a performative swing. Um. Low key, I am performing for this guy who's right here. It's very are you um, not entertained? Going... Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I am going for a um, a reckless attack. All right, take here. advantage. So I'm I'm going to uh, actually add the reckless attack effect to myself, so I don't have to fucking do any of the clicky buttons. <laughs> 
Oh, it's a second so hit, very nice. Crit. It would have been a nice double crit if you had gotten it, but you didn't. But it, this, solid I mean, damage. yeah, solid damage. It, this werewolf sort of staggers back under the the absolute fury of your assault. Um, so, do you have anything else? The way I figure this comes is that, is that one hit came down, ac like across his head in the um, bludgeoning side. And then uh, Nomani swooped down, did that like jump where like all of your feet twist and hit it with the uh, the pointy side. And so it was very much like wide ass open to do an, a hit on the way it out. Absolutely <laughs> oh, yeah, no, love I, it. Stoker shit. Kind of disappointed that Echo can't see it, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a perform check? <laughs> um, no, but only because. Yeah. You're impressing the hell out of Dwarf Guard 9. Right, because you don't really have a whole lot of enemies to roll it against. You are definitely impressing the dwarves. That does not require a roll. Pykel, um is going to, like, sort of, just sort of nudge his way behind these two shield dwarves. And with his snout, kind of gently, like, surprisingly gently, kind of nudge them apart. <laughs> And then Excuse much me. less gently, uh, he's gonna go ahead and take go ahead and take an attack, but it's only gonna be one attack because of the need to to move them aside. But it's at advantage because the dude's prone. That's true. And he will absolutely hit with his claws. Uh for 14 oh, points of damage that did actually hit. Very nice. Okay, excellent. Uh the priest is like Ivan. Sit still, is going <laughs> to no. move forward, and is going to go ahead and spend a third level spell slot to cast Cure Wounds on Ivan, which will be 3d8 plus three points of healing. So 16 points of healing to Ivan, who's down here, I believe. Yeah, he's way fucked down there. <laughs> God, he's still got over 200 damage on his, uh, on his tracker. He did and a good job holding out till we got here. <laughs> Orc 2 uh, here is is very clearly outdone, right? But the fury <laughs> in his eyes makes it clear that this is not going to be one of those taking prisoners surrender kind of times. Uh, he's going to go ahead and attack Echo. All right, yeah, that sounds all right. <laughs> no, he's going to try to attack Echo. He's going to attempt to attack Echo. Echo's very wiggly. Echo is extraordinarily <laughs> wiggly and manages to avoid. I, I would love that like Echo like dodges out of the way of the first two, but then the third one's like coming right for his throat and he puts the hand in front of it, and it's the it's the bracers of protection that Barnabas made that his claws just Whoa. skitter off of. <laughs> nice. Weird courtship rituals. Uh, the <laughs> other the other werewolf stands up. And is going to go ahead and, like, go full on like he's using the aggressive bonus action to, like, move forward at, at Pykel, this massive bear. And is, like, roaring his defiance in the face of this bear that towers over him. Um, and he's going to take some attacks. Oof. Ah! Oh. Huh, okay. <laughs> was one of those a... It was. One of them was a crit. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, he, he gets up, he roars his defiance in front of this thing, manages to get two solid char solid claw shots and a, and a bite off. And as you can see on the picture, there's this like big scraping wound uh, along Pykel's neck where, where the, the orc's uh, werewolf claws dug into it. Um, we're going to attempt to attack. So attacking Namalni did not work very well. So I think it's going to go ahead and turn on this shield dwarf. Oh no, buddy! Buddy, no! <laughs> he was doing so well! He was doing so well, but I don't think he's about to be right now. Although he did not get hit by the second claw attack. Oh, buddy! And also manages to avoid the bite attack. <laughs> Your friend's still up! <laughs> Uh, Sven, I want to gamble with him afterwards. <laughs> Sven is going to notice that this is happening and is going to go ahead and drop a magic missile at Orc 7. 
magic missile. Uh, which That's... does some damage, but actually, uh, with magic it's, it's, missile. It's three at first it's level. Three at first level. Okay, two. Yeah. And three. So, so this dwarf like is backed up, right? This this shield dwarf nine is backed up. Like his shield flies out of his hand. He holds his hammer in both hands, trying desperately to deflect these these claws and these gnashing teeth. And the these sparkling bolts of force energy just blindside the the werewolf uh, from the left, from their left, I think. Yes. And and yeah, takes yeah. it down, uh, slumping in between the shield uh, dwarf and Namalni. So orc oh. seven as that shield dwarf goes down, it gets just like a, a Namani roar in the face as it goes down. Uh, Calder, it's your turn. So it's just two and four still up, but perception check. Perception check. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunate, but that's okay. You you are seeing Namani, you're, you're like, damn, what a performance. And you're like, not looking. <laughs> Actually, popcorn. Nice. Uh, I've, want, I've always wanted to do this because it's a fun, stupid thing I can do. I have never done this before, so this will be fun. Mm-hmm. I'm, going, I'm going to spend the one quicken spell effect, uh, one spell point it costs to uh, to quicken a cantrip. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going. I'm quickening frostbite. Nice. He does okay. unfortunately manage to make his save. Cool. Uh, for my base action, I'm going to spend a second uh, spell point to twin frostbite. <laughs> so much frostbite. <laughs> Fails that time. Where's all this frost coming from? Well, his re- movement is reduced by Aww. ten. And the other one is fine, though. That's fine. Right? That's fine. But you do manage to drop no, one of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck cool. them up. Bonus action: converting uh, a converting a spell uh, a, a spell into a spell point. Okay. Is that it for you? Uh, yeah, that'll be it. All right. Uh, Guard nine will back up and place himself in front of the king, and it is Echo's turn. Uh, all right, one left. <laughs> he's gonna. Yeah, it goes. He's gonna drop on like as the werewolf is super mad and coming at him. He goes, he's gonna drop and do that. Um, <sighs> what is it called? Breakdance spin kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Dirty twenty. Very good. Deal some damage. The other foot. Oh yeah. Waiting for the other yeah. foot to drop. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna stand back up and another key point flurry of blows. Uh. So first one. Oh, oh, so close. Close. oh that was so close. Um, can that I get a so dex- close. Uh, but it did hit, so it can did I get hit. a dexterity save DC 15? You got it. Uh, it will make the dex save. Okay. And one last hit. You're using him like a body bag. Punch, punch. And... Uh, on this last one, I'm Punch going back. to let's get yeah, let's get another dexterity save. Nice. Him. Still looking for 15? Do not yes. get it. Okay, so at this point, Echo's gonna hit him with the first one. He's steady on his feet, but then he comes up and like gets him like right in the solar plexus with his heel, and the guy goes down, and I want Echo to land with his foot on him, and he's gonna lean down in his face and say, Your God isn't with you today. <laughs> Love it. Love it so much. I'm going to go ahead and apply prone. Um, This next uh, guard will also back up and sort of take a stance alongside his brethren. And uh, guard eight is going to step forward. 
is going to absolutely smash into the <laughs> face of this this prone for maximum damage. Oh, it says resisted, but hold on, it wasn't actually. How much? Hold on, 11? this is Orc 2. 11. 11? No, he absolutely smashes it in the head and crushes his head into the ground. Like, because because Echo's foot is kind of still on his chest, the, the, the werewolf has no chance to dodge, and his head is just pressed flat into the ground. Echo gets hit with some of the splatter. <laughs> Brains. Um, it goes well with the outfit. <laughs> now, at the end of the round, which I'm going to go to, unless anybody has actions. No? Okay. At the end of the round, um, Calder, yes. you were too busy before to notice, mm -hmm. but as you're hovering in the air, you now notice that like some of the, the, the plants are moving in ways that are not natural to the wind that is happening. And in fact, I'm pretty sure you've never seen a plant like that one before. And as you're watching, three of these very large sort of massive plants begin to make their way in to the camp. And I'll show you what they look like right now. From the, from the north, from the top Ooh. of the... From all around. And as you look at them, not only are they large and covered in the same blight you've been seeing, but they are full to the brim of armored orcish and dwarvish bodies that are contained within the plant. And as you're watching, each plant spits out one of the bodies, which stands up and begins to shamble its way forward toward you. And that, for the moment, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show where they are on the map. And that, is where we are going to take our quick 10 minute break. It is 8.15 p.m. Pacific. We will be back at 8.25 p.m. Pacific to continue this combat. So if you're here, I hope you stay here and uh, you know, get a snack, go to the bathroom, all that other good stuff. We'll be back in 10 to uh, finish up what's going on here. Thanks for watching so far. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not great. <laughs>